Hey, my loves. So, I have not been having the best day today, but I want to turn that around. This is all about positivity, right? So, I threw on some Wicked lipstick. Wicked isn't the kind of lipstick it is, and this is um, Lime Crime Zelatine in Wicked. This guy, I have a full video on um, all that jazz. I'll put it down below. But yeah, I threw on some hardcore lipstick. I sat down and I decided that I really wanted, really wanted to film this video. Not only does filming put me in a better mood, but this is a really special video that um, that I really did want to film and make sure it got out this week. Um, so um, I'll ramble first and tell you why this video is so special, and then I'll move to the second part of this video, which is my birthday haul and just sharing with you. Um, does anyone ever have itchy nostrils? Like, I'm not picking my nose, but they get itchy, and then I feel like I can't do it in public because people are like, why are you picking your nose? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'll do the why this video is special, and then I'll, I'll show you all the goodies that you may have been peeking at below, behind me, um, that are part of my birthday haul. Um, so, this is an incredibly special video for me because this will be my 100th video. Oh my gosh, even that sounds insane. Um, when this video goes up, it'll be the 100th video I've posted to YouTube which is just insane to me. Like, it feels like just yesterday I was still, like, doodling up channel art and thinking of, of a name and wondering whether or not this was going to be a good idea and fighting with my laptop and thinking, oh my god, this is a sign that I'm not supposed to do this. Um, also, coincidentally, I did also hit a thousand subscribers just recently, which blows my mind. Like, I... I'm just so humbled. Like, I just... The fact that you all sort of let me into your lives, you know, take the time to, to show me that kind of love and support and, and friendship, I just, I'm just floored. I just, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't feel like I will ever be able to convey that enough. Um, I genuinely, hopefully, wish to meet all of you one day and just personally thank you for everything you've given me, all the, the happiness, all the passion, all... I can't tell you what this, this journey has been. I've always been that girl, I guess I gotta give you a little bit of background, um, I've always been that girl that, that had a lot of things that she was passionate about, but didn't have a passion. Like I was, I still am a Model UN junkie. Um, I love reading like books and articles about women's rights and international law. Um, I am a huge nerd and like dive into things I love reading like there are a lot of things I really loved but when I had to sit down and think like what is my passion when I was like career planning and all that fun stuff I didn't have an answer I don't I didn't have a hobby I didn't you know I mean reading is a hobby fine running is a hobby but nothing that was like that drove me um, until I discovered this whole world of makeup and getting to experience all of that with you guys. Like I say in all those little like long disclaimers I have down in my comment section, this is really a passion project and you guys have helped it become so much more than it already meant to me. Um, I love how I was sitting down to do this video so I'd be less emotional and I'm gonna be an emotional wreck anyways. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I just, I really just wanna say thank you. Um, Thank you for making this more than I ever imagined it could be. Thank you for always being here. Um, thank you for becoming my friends. I, yeah, thank you. This is amazing. Um, I'm going to jump right in to show you some goodies. We'll talk about some fun uh, stuff. Uh, they all have some sort of emotional meaning to them, which is neat and great and endemic of the fact that I have amazing friends and family. And then... Um, and then, yeah, we'll do some three points of positivity and I'll be out of your hair. Okay, so this is uh, my birthday haul section and I was going to bring things up one by one to show you, but I realized that this might actually be the easier way to do it because things were just going to fall all over the place. <laughs> so first and foremost is this adorable Build-A-Bear uh, that my cousins made me and they called it not your typical fluff face. Um, I don't know if you guys all have Build-A-Bears, but basically you can like pick up a bear that isn't stuffed, you stuff it with love and there's a whole sort of process that goes around it and then dress it. So they picked something that sort of expressed my love of color, which is adorable, and they just dropped like Katy Perry because these are my sweet cousins that I'm taking to Katy Perry this summer, so we're all super excited. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's that. Um, and then back here, my sister made me this gorgeous, in the, the 
the big one up back, um, like sign that says life's too short to wear boring lipstick. I really want to incorporate it in my background and I'm still working on how to get that done, but this took her so much time and she's so adorable and she picked up like a lipstick and put my face on it. I'm telling you, that girl is adorable. Um, and then the other sort of piece of art that I got was from an amazing friend of mine who made this other piece of art for me that has my age and then not your typical doll face. Again, I really want to put both of these in my background so I'm working on finding a way to do that really soon. Then my present to myself <laughs> was this awesome new vlogging camera. So you guys got to see the first work that came out of that camera in my vlog uh, that went up a little earlier. I'll link it down below if you guys want to still check it out. But I've been having a lot of fun vlogging and sharing uh, some of the madness that is the rest of my life with you guys. And then this, I have to say, is probably the most amazing thing that anyone's ever made for me. Um, my sister made me this fantastic, like, wantable box based on my favorite YouTubers. Um, I just, I, I don't even know what to say. She wanted to buy me a subscription box. Okay, so I guess there was too much awesomeness from my camera and it just died on me. So, we're gonna try this again. She wanted to buy me a subscription service, like a Wantable or Ipsy, like monthly, but she couldn't find anything she loved. So instead, my sister, who is not a makeup girl at all, watched videos from some of my favorite YouTubers and made me my own customizable like subscription boxes, which I still can't get over how sweet that is. But I'm gonna take you through and show you some of them. So she watched some of Danny's videos. I'll link all these four girls' channels below, but you definitely have seen them. Um, so she went to Coffee Break with Danny, and she bought me, um, this is that new foundation that I told you I'm gonna test out. She bought me the Rocket, which Danny talks about, but she's also heard me talk about tons and tons of times, and I can't believe she remembered, but she's adorable, my sister, I tell you. And then this Maybelline Vivids in 870, um, which I think is just basically the color. Like it's just a beautiful coral color that'll be amazing for spring. So to, to again harp on the fact that I have the best sister in the entire world, not only did she pick items that these girls love, but she also tried to pin it to things that she knows I would wear. So she's been watching my videos and listening to me and I'm telling you. Uh, Jaclyn Hill. Um, talked about some stuff that Tamara then picked up. She got me this uh, Clinique blush in Ginger Pop. So it's this gorgeous color. They came out with a bunch of new blushes and this one definitely is my color out of the range and is one Jacqueline talks about, so it's really cute. And then uh, MAC Giga Extended Play Mascara, which is supposed to be great for your bottom lashes and a little travel size of the Maracuja oil. I love the Maracuja oil, but I like that I have now like a small travel friendly uh, rollerball version. That one's that one. Uh, Cassie, who actually curated this month's actual wantable box, but Tamara is the cutest girl I've ever met. Tamara being my sister. <laughs> okay, so in this box um, is one of these Revlon um, kissable lip stains, or just been lip stains. This one is in Cherish, I think, which is a beautiful baby pink. Um, that's like a pretty topper, Cassie was saying. And I love Tamara also gave me these little letters that list out what all these products are in the videos they were in so I could refer back to the videos and see how to wear them. I'm telling you, adorable. <laughs> uh, this Sonia Kashuk, um cream bronzer in but yeah in warm tan so it's supposed to be just as good as the Chanel one um but less orange because I complain about how orange my Chanel one is so I'm excited to play with that guy and then lastly is the Sonia Kashuk blush um and this guy is in it's in 51 or flush so it'll be a beautiful color uh for the spring it's just a powder blush and then the last box is who other than the beautiful Nicole Guerrero, which, and I love how she customized the box to sort of go with each girl's personality. I thought it was awesome. Uh, in this box are those beautiful um, Pantone lip glosses that I was telling you I was raving about, me being not a gloss, I mean, not being a gloss girl. I love these guys. I'll link again the video where I do full swatches of them, but they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Um... And then she got me a MAC lipstick in Please Me that Nicole has been obsessed with, and this has totally been my kind of color recently. I don't know why I've been gravitating towards it, but I cannot wait to play with it. And then the last thing in the box is a Revlon um, lip gloss in number 215, Sugar Nectar. Um, so yeah, that's my lovely little birthday haul. Um, again, I loved how everything was so sweet and... Um, and what have you. 
and just like customizable, you know, and like made for me and very special with a lot of care in mind. It was just, again, feeling very, very blessed recently. <laughs> This is that, I don't know if the lighting's going to show up, but this is that advent calendar that I was telling you my mom made. So there are those little presents, um, like one for every day that I get to open up. So um, I've got a couple that have been opened, but the rest um, are on a day-by-day -day basis, which is really sweet. Uh, the last thing that I'm not going to show in this video is my... Um, Guerlain haul, I got a couple things, including those personalized lipsticks from Guerlain. I'll film a whole separate video to show you guys those goodies. But yeah, that's um, the lovely treats that were waiting for me this year. So my three points of positivity are going to be themed with this video. So first and foremost is every single comment you leave, every single view, every single like just means so much to me. It makes me feel so blessed, so supported, so loved. It's absolutely amazing and thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the second is all the amazing friendships I've developed here on YouTube, um, be it through girls who don't have channels, um, who have become fun pen pals with whom I talk about books or boys <laughs> or, um, or practice my French, or those of you on YouTube who inspire me to do better makeup or who offer me a laugh and um, a shopping buddy. I just, I never thought I could connect with so many amazing people this way and I'm just so, I told you I was gonna get emotional. So blessed and feeling so happy by it. And then the third point of positivity is is really this outlet that's become therapeutic and those of you who will get it, get it. Like it's just, there's something about having this time that's just for me that is about nothing but happiness and and nothing but but wearing bright lipstick and feeling invincible you know um has been truly a blessing in my life i'm gonna leave <laughs> before i get yeah i'm gonna leave i love you all thank you thank you thank you for being here and just want to leave you as always by reminding you that this life honestly is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.